So you're starting the first help desk position. What can you expect? Hi, I'm Wes Bryan, edutainer at IT Pro TV, and in this edition of How to Get Started in IT, we're going to go through a list of the top 10 help desk support issues. Coming in first on our list in, well, no particular order, is password logons. Such as, well, I'm typing my password and I still can't get logged in. This is probably one of the most common problems on our list. End users can't get logged into the company platform or platforms. It's important to remember simple fixes first. Is the password being typed correctly? Is the caps lock on? Caps lock! Also, companies can adopt an SSO or single sign-on enabled platform, which can reduce the amount of times end users type in their username and passwords. However, there might be cases where multiple passwords are required. Be patient. This can be cumbersome on the end user. Being aware of this beforehand can help you to support your end users when logins simply just don't work quite as they are expected to. Number two on our list is printing issues. Yes, another very common problem that we see inside of our companies. Such as, I've tried to print this PDF five times and, well, nothing's printing. Simple fixes on this one too. Check to see if the printer is turned on. Have you asked them, does the printer have paper? PC load letter, what the f does that mean? Check the printer, That make sure there's no printer jams. Are the printer cables connected properly? A lot of times this can be fixed by a simple driver installation. Is it a driver issue? Coming in at number three on the list is resource access. You might receive a call, something like this. I can't get access to the company's shared folder. Now let's face it, just like printers, employees need access to various shared resources. Whether it's an on-premise file server or with the growing commonality of cloud-based resources, they're gonna need access and let's face it, sometimes access can be lost. And that can be from things like as simple as network connectivity, and it could be browser issues. Now on the back end, you know, as part of administrator access, it could be some kind of access control mechanism that's misconfigured. Remember that you're going to most likely get support requests to restore access for end users, at least at some point. Here's another one on the list. Coming in at four, this is one that you can have somebody calling you frantically, and that's, well, deleted files. Such as, my project is due at 3.30 today and I've lost all my work. Somebody calls you in just hyperventilating. Now, keep in mind that most companies will implement a file or data recovery mechanism that will recover the end user's files in case of an accidental deletion. However, employees might not be aware of this safety net. So be prepared for the occasional frazzled employee asking you for help in a very frenzied state. Number five on our list is video conferencing. You might get something like, I can't connect to the meeting. I don't have audio or video. I can't even share my screen. Remember that collaboration is a major part of today's IT-enabled businesses, as well as things like telecommuting. This means larger adoption of video conferencing systems that keep employees connected. Now, you've probably seen this one once or twice, or even experienced this yourself. And coming in at number six on our list is slow networks. You receive a call. This is taking forever to connect to the email server. Web pages are taking a while to load. Or maybe my file is taking a long time to upload or download. This is another common issue that can come with a lot of vagueness. It'll be important to ask open-ended questions and use active listening, such as, what has changed since you've noticed this issue? Followed by maybe a paraphrasing of the issue as mentioned by the end user. So you're saying this issue is happening first thing in the morning and less in the afternoon? Is that right? Next up, number seven is I cannot connect to the wireless network or you're having intermittent connection problems. You might receive a call as I can't connect to the wireless or well, my Wi-Fi connection is just horrible. With the popularity of mobile devices such as laptops, tablets, smartphones, IoT, and plenty more, there's a high probability that you will be called upon to provide assistance with connection to the company's wireless network. It's important to be aware of the procedure to connect to that network. And this can include not only the network settings, but also policies that are in place, or maybe acceptable use policies that might restrict the type of devices and the conditions of the connection. Coming in at number eight on the list, the computer has malware. You might receive a call, I have a virus, and I didn't do anything. This could be an issue based solely on the end user's perception. For example, they might think that their computer's running slow, and that might be the fact that they have a virus. It might not have anything to do with the virus at all. In fact, it could just be a, well, slow computer. 
However, antivirus software is so commonplace on computers, so it really doesn't hurt to go ahead and run a scan anyways. Coming in at number nine on our list is a frozen computer. Something like, my computer stops working every time I launch this application. This is commonly caused by a program not responding. Sometimes a simple launch of Task Manager in Windows or the Activity Monitor in Mac will reveal the offending application, giving the user the ability to end the task, kill the process, or force quit the application. Finally, at number 10, BYOD issues. That's right, bring your own device, such as, can you help me with my email on my phone? Becoming ever more popular is the trend of end users bringing in their own devices to work and wanting access to email and files. However, sometimes the installation of those mobile apps might require more than just a simple username and password, such as server names, ports, digital certificates, and maybe more. This is where Help Desk can help with the task of assisting users with these sometimes not so obvious to the end user settings. Finally, remember that it's important as you enter your IT career in the IT world that most end users are not aware of the behind the scenes of IT, and they just want access to company resources to stay productive. Be patient and understanding, and it can be difficult, especially when responding to vague, non-technical explanations of the issues facing the end users that you're going to support. Encourage the users to be resourceful checking any of the provided self-help steps or maybe a company's frequently asked questions website, empowering the end users to resolve, where possible, the issues themselves. This was my top 10 list. Didn't see something in the list? Or maybe you have a top 10 list. Leave us a comment in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe. And we hope to see you in next week's edition of How to Get Started in IT.